I'm Kate and I make junk journals and today we're going to use those snippet rolls that we made last week and I'm going to show you some variations of how to use them using belly bands, pockets, a tuck, and some other ideas. So last week we made our snippet roll, this fabulous little piece of scrappy happiness, and today we're going to use it. So if you haven't made a snippet roll, head over to that video that I did last week and make one, or you can just watch this and make one later and then it will give you some ideas for when you do make one. So let's get out the journal that we have been working on and let's find a page we want to use, but just kind of the back side of one I think is good. Here we have our flat pocket stacked thing and our little quadruple triangle thing, so I'm just going to use the back of that one and we're gonna use our snippet roll. So you know I moved into this fabulous new studio and I brought all my supplies and then I took my glue home and I forgot that I took my glue home so the only glue I have right now is a glue stick. So at least I have something today but I'm gonna buy an extra glue and just keep it here so that never happens again. But we can totally still use this, this is fine. But I do normally use my Beacon Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 glue is my favorite but any kind of craft glue will be great. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some something really easy and just turn this into a belly band. So I'm gonna take my paper and decide what piece of the snippet roll that I want to use. And if I wanna use this bottom chunk, or hey, I could even cut out a middle chunk if I wanted to. Little rooster action there. But I think I will just use the top. Keep it simple. Plus free hugs, come on, need free hugs. So we'll line that up there and I'll just mark kind of where the bottom of that paper is. And then we can just snip that off. And then we will have this really awesome creative collage belly band that was so easy that we just pulled from something we'd already created. I'm telling you, man, snippet rolls, best thing ever. So I don't want to leave this back paper just blank white like that because it's just a little too boring and flat. So let's go ahead and just do something really easy um, and we'll just kind of brush the edges with some ink. So I've got my tattered rose here, and if I just kind of sloppily ink up the edges and let that kind of bleed over, then it will just help the page not seem quite so flat and boring. Just sloppy, sloppy, sloppy so that it gets all over. There we go. And then that way it's just not a flat piece of paper, but there's just a little depth. So see, already that looks a bajillion times better to me. But do you know what I also think would look good? I'm gonna take some of this speckled egg and I'm gonna do the belly band with it and just kind of create a little bit more dimension and separation there. I like that. Okay, so now all we have to do is take our glue and we're just gonna glue a strip at the top, a strip at the bottom and put it down and pat ourselves on the back for all of our amazing craft work. And bam, there you have it. And this is really nice because, you know, I love lots of layers and writing space and all that stuff, but I can't do it on every single page. You know, I did once, I made my never ending junk journal, but that was, come on, ridiculous and not, you know, what I'm gonna do every time. So this is nice for kind of your other pages that aren't gonna be 20 million layers and tucks and folds and stuff. Just for something quick when you want something cool and something that looks nice. And I really love to do detailed things prior to assembling things because it's almost like there's two mindsets. There's like a macro mindset where you're thinking about the big picture of how everything will work and then the micro mindset of all the little details and embellishments and textures and stuff. And I kind of like to not think in terms of macro and micro at the same time. For some reason, my brain just doesn't work that way. So it's really nice to do like your detail work beforehand and then you can just kind of shove it in when you're thinking big picture. At least that's what I like. Okay, so then we just take a tag and we stick it back there. And look, that's so cute. Do we need two tags? I feel like we need two tags. What's this, does that fit that way? Yeah, it does, just barely. See? And well, bam fastest page ever, tutorial done, mic drop. But let's not stop there and add a little more. Okay, so let's on the other side. Now remember, these pages go in our book, so they're not next to each other. This will be at the front of the book and this will be at the end 
more of a back page. So we could use this two times and it's not gonna be repeated on the same spread. Not that that would be bad, but because this is a lot more collagey and clustery than my other pages, um, I don't want to concentrate all of my scrappy happiness just on one spread and have the rest be more simple. So I'll kind of like to spread it out in the book so it's kind of like a repeating thing and not all congregated. So for this one, we're just gonna use um, a little bit and create a tuck. And I love to do tucks on white blank paper because then it kind of is out of the way and you can still write on the whole back paper and then still add more writing things and by putting a little card or a letter or something underneath. Should we pull from the bottom? Let's just keep working from the top. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. How tall do we wanna go? We only need a little bit. So I think maybe we'll just cut right above, like right here. Is that a weird place to cut? I don't think so. I think that looks good. Let's ink up the edges a little bit. And then we're just going to glue just the bottom part and just one little line so that that can kind of become a tuck. And if you wanted to put it in the corner and do it there and there, then you totally could do that too, but I'm just gonna do it right at the bottom. Oh, I forgot to ink the back page first. But don't worry, we can still do it. There's still hope. Just giving it a little something. Don't want it to look neglected. That looks better. Okay, and so bam, there's a little tuck that's super cute. And for this, I think I'm gonna grab a little piece of stationery. So let's see what I brought. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these stationaries and just fold it in half. Just probably put it on that side. Hmm, I feel like it still needs a little something. Maybe we'll add a card too. There we go. Doesn't that look a little more finished? And I'm gonna ink up the edges just a little bit with this. Just actually, let's use speckle it. There we go, look at that. So cute and so easy. Something else you could do, I'm not gonna do this this time, but you could also do a little bit at the top and then have something, have like, it's kind of like an open belly band or like a double tuck. And then you can um, put things in the middle and it kind of holds it like that, but you can still see it. Um, I'm gonna leave it because I like the way this looks just like that. But that's another idea that you could do. Let's put that aside. Okay, something else that we could do, I'm not done uh, with this book. I should just finish the cover so that I can stop apologizing for my cereal box covers. We could also cut it down and put it over the spine, which would be really fun. And I probably won't do it for this one because I have a fabric snippet roll that my mother-in-law made and I kind of want to use that one for this uh, just because it's kind of sentimental because she made it. And so we could um, put it on this one or part of the cover. That might be a super fun cover. <gasps> Um, anyway, but that's an idea. Um, and then another thing you can do with it, and I showed you this last week, is here's another snippet roll I had made, and I just glued it here, here, here to make a simple side pocket. So this is kind of like the belly band, you just do it as a pocket. Let's do it in this journal. This, so this one is my personal journal that I'm making for myself, and then this is our group project, the one I've been building with you guys. So those are the two journals I've got going on right now, but let's do this one in my journal because it's super cute and I want it. So I want it kind of far away from that, but let's do it in the second signature somewhere. Just need a blank page. What I'm gonna do is just do a tiny strip of this. Maybe I'll do this butterfly. Okay, so I am going to cut this like this. And I'm gonna put this little thumbs up guy and my little cute things pile that I can use as an embellishment somewhere. But I want this butterfly for this. So I'm going to just cut a little strip. So now I just have a little piece. I guess technically this is a belly band too, but it's a little different. So it seems different, but maybe I'm just repeating things over and over again in slightly varied ways, which I feel like that's what I always do. So it's just basically turn everything into a pocket and add a belly band when you don't know what else to do. And when in doubt, add a butterfly. And that's it. That's how I junk journal. Now you know all my secrets. Okay, so I just glued it in two strips, just like a little belly band. And I'm going to just put it kind of in the corner, not corner, the upper quadrant, I don't know. Just kind of there, little cuteness. And, oh, I should probably ink this as well. I keep forgetting to ink the edges of my papers. And that's fine, this is, it's not even necessary to ink the edges, but it really, just any time I can add texture and dimension, I think I've said those words in every tutorial that I've ever done, because that's what I'm after. That's what I want. So now we've got that. So I'm gonna get a little baby tag, stick it in the little baby 
belly band. Isn't that so cute? That's so cute. Something I like to do when I do this little thing that I do is um, use my crocodile and put a little ribbon in the top of it so that it can't slip through very easily. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna um, use this big hole punch and just kind of punch a little hole. And then I'm gonna put my eyelet through and I'm going to smash it down. Hurrah! Get that nice and smushied on there. And then I'm gonna get some ribbon. That's not for me to use. That's part of my book where... And I will just take a little blue piece, feed it through there, and tie that. And then that way there's a little bit of bulk that that is not going to slip down and fall out of the book. It will be secure. But isn't that so cute? A little baby tag and a little baby belly band. And then there's tons of writing space, but then there's like a cute little corner design and a fun little interactive writing spot. So I love doing that. Anyway, um, let me know what else you guys do with your snippet rolls because those are my ideas and that's what I did. So I'd love to see what you guys do with yours. And if you did make a snippet roll, then I would love to see pictures. You can tag me on Instagram at at Kate's Junk Journals, or you can email me either your snippet roll or anything from any tutorial, even if it's not exactly what I did, but was just inspired by my tutorial. I would love to see it. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and look at me, I did a short tutorial. Finally, I feel like the last couple ones have been just a little too long, and I'm going camping this week, so I need to keep it short. But enjoy your guys' summer, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.